So when we moved into this house, we inherited this closet organizer and I've just never been happy with it. The shelves aren't big enough to hold any of my son's things. It's very cheap and it's falling apart. So the rod that used to hang here has already fallen off. He can't hang his clothes down here. There's a giant hole in the wall over here and it's just ugly to look at. So I did a lot of research and I found a closet organizer from Lowe's that I'm going to install. So I'm going to walk you through the steps that I take in removing this, prepping this whole area, and installing the new closet organizer. I'll also let you know why I chose the one I chose, and in the end, I'll give you a review and just let you know if it's worth the money or not. First, I started off by removing everything in the closet. If only it really went this quick. Then I started taking down all the hardware and just all of the boards and pieces that were attached to the wall. Better to start off with a clean slate. I'm so excited just to have everything in here that matches, that goes together, and I'm also excited to paint the inside of the closet now, I'm not an expert on patching holes here, so I watched some YouTube videos just to figure out what to do here. So I just cut over to the stud in the wall there just to give me something solid to attach to. Then I went over to the other side and I just cleaned it up so that I had straight edges. This will make it so much easier when I cut a patch and put it in place. Now to provide myself backing on the other side, I just put a scrap piece of wood in and screwed it into place. Then I got myself a scrap piece of drywall and then I just carefully sanded it down until it fit right into the spot. It was actually tricky to find a piece of drywall at the store that wasn't in a giant sheet. So I ended up buying a lot of drywall for this tiny little patch. Taping was easy, but getting the mudding to look flush with the walls and the texture to match was so hard. Maybe a few more YouTube videos were needed. I'm not a pro at this, so you can definitely tell where I patched it. It's a little high in some areas. So I'm sure I'll get better with time. And luckily this is on the inside of the closet. And I started off with painting the corners and the edges with a brush. Then I used the roller on all the other solid areas. Amazing how two coats of paint can just change something completely. And now the unboxing of the closet organizer. The toughest part of this is finding space in your room to unload everything without piling everything on top of each other so that when you need a piece, you can actually get to it. Now the instructions are just a little tricky to follow. I found I had to really read through them a few times before doing things to make sure I was getting things on the right side and not missing steps. I'm not gonna lie, I did miss a few things and have to go back. Sometimes I had to go back and actually change something. But it wasn't too hard to do. I was able to do it and if I can do it, you guys can surely do it. It also didn't require a lot of tools to assemble. It came with most things and the other things were just your basic tools you have around your house. Now the reason I chose this closet organizer over so many other options was that it was a lot cheaper than other ones that I find that are made custom to fit in your exact closet. Yet it was also built really well. It uses good products and I really liked that it sat up off of the floor. So I found a lot of closet organizers that you set against your floor, and that wasn't something that we were interested in for our house. 
we really wanted it to sit up so that we could put shoes and things underneath it and not have to worry about something constantly on the floor. That way, if we ever wanna change the carpet or the flooring, it won't be an issue. So as you can see, you put together the top section and then the bottom section. Another thing I really liked about this system is that it uses French cleats to hold it into the studs in the wall. In my opinion, that is one of the strongest, cleanest holds you're gonna get. And here I am just digging through, trying to find the pieces that I need to assemble the drawer. I really like that this kit came with a drawer and shoe organizer. I can buy additional drawers or shelves to fit my kids' needs, but for now, we have a full system. Here I am just marking the studs on the wall and lining up where I want everything hung. It comes with this piece of paper that you just tape on to where you want it. I really like that it comes with this piece of paper that it shows you exactly where to drill so that your French cleat is hung in the right spot so that the top and the bottom of this closet organizer will hang exactly where it needs to to line up straight and exactly on top of one another. Makes it really foolproof. This is the toughest part for me of the whole project. I don't know why, but the screw that I was trying to screw into the studs in our wall was just so hard to go into. I have no idea why. Maybe I just got really weak after a full day's work. So I brought in my husband to do the rest of the work for me. He also put in the top French cleat, which I didn't show here. Then I got his help to put on the lower part and then the top part. And as you can see, they just fit in so nicely right on that cleat. It looks perfect. And honestly, I had no issues with this. I just wanna make it clear that I'm making this look easy because it truly was. That piece of paper, I'm telling you, it made all the difference in the world. And now to put in the drawer on the bottom. Now I'm cutting the shelving that will go on the top. So before cutting, I just put on some painter's tape so that it would hopefully not splinter and cut into the nice wood. And you would just cut it to fit your closet, however big it was. And now I'm just attaching it using the brackets that it came with and a level just to make sure that I have it at the right height. Against the wall, I made sure to mark where the studs were and put the brackets into the studs in the wall. They do have molly bolts that you can use. However, I never like to use molly bolts if I can possibly drill into a stud in the wall. I had to remove the clip from where I had it on the edge I had it in the wrong spot to begin with. So here again, didn't quite understand the instructions first time, but I figured it out. Now this isn't part of the instructions, but I wanted to have the curtain rod into a solid piece of wood here again, rather than using molly bolts. So there was an extra trim piece that was left over and I actually just used it drilled it into the wall, and then attached the curtain rod right to it. And since that piece matches the whole rest of the closet organizer, it goes with it and it doesn't look out of place at all. I don't know if uh, this is actually what you're supposed to do, but I just used the blade that was already on my miter saw and I just carefully cut them to size. As you can see, that one is a little bit tight in there. So I actually come back to that one and just kind of give it a little snug push to get it fit in there. Then you put a screw in just to hold them in place and it's time to use. Such a simple, easy project and it just changes the room completely. 
especially since I haven't got around to putting on doors to this closet yet. I will have to go back and put in some white trim around the bottom of the closet just to finish off the look. But for right now, it's done. I would totally buy this again. It is a great value for the money and the average homeowner can easily assemble it. It looks amazing, is built with quality products, and has good functionality. To see the quality, let me show you the drawer. Pulls out nice and smooth and shuts really easily with the soft close hardware. This is especially nice with kids because they cannot slam it shut. Let's talk shoe rack. These are my third grader shoes, which fit in perfect. A bit bigger pair doesn't fit side by side, but I can fit it staggered. Now the true test to me was regular adult shoes. These are my size eight. And although they don't fit side by side, you can rearrange them many different ways because there's a lot of depth in this rack to arrange your shoes. So many shoe racks out there make it look like you can put in any pair of shoes, but it really will only hold a pair of kids shoes. So I can say that this one truly will hold most adult size shoes. Since the clothing rods are made out of metal, they look nice and the clothes easily slide back and forth on them. Also, since I put mine into studs in the wall, you could probably even do pull-ups on these, which is nice with kids because sometimes they can be rather rough on things. To give you an idea of a different layout, here's my daughter's room where I also assembled one of these organizers. And as I said earlier, we bought two additional drawers for hers. The one thing to be cautious of, we ordered these drawers all together in the same color. But as you can see, that middle drawer, which was an additional one we bought, does not match the rest. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out some of my fun new builds that I have coming next. You little brat.